Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so it's that time of year again. Uh, ShakeTube 2020 is happening this uh, September. Uh, for those who are new, this is a month-long booktube event celebrating William Shakespeare, which is uh, hosted by uh, myself, uh, Steve Donahue, Jason from Old Blues Chapter and Verse, and Rainy from Rainy Day Reads, who is a, a new host this year. Um, and I will leave links to all of their videos. Um, William Shakespeare uh, is obviously one of the greatest writers ever. I don't really need to say that, but everyone feels obligated to say it. Uh, he's one of the greatest writers ever, but he's also uh, a writer who many readers are intimidated by. And I think they're intimidated more by a misconception of Shakespeare than by Shakespeare himself. Um, he has a reputation for being remote, for using complex language, and this ostensibly makes him difficult to read. Um, and that's not helped, of course, by uh, the literary critics and teachers who endlessly split his words apart and make them seem a lot more complicated than they are and force students to read them in that way. Um, and I think, it, I think it's unfortunate that that idea of Shakespeare has been inculcated in so many uh, people because uh, really uh, if you just look at the words on the page of a Shakespeare play, you forget all the annotations, forget all that. Just look at the words on a blank page, well, a blank page aside from the words of the play, of course, and uh, you'll see that really his language is really modern. It's really close to the English that we speak. Aside from a few words that meant something slightly different in his day and some words that have gone out of use, Really, if you are a 21st century speaker of English, then you have everything that you need to read Shakespeare without any assistance, I would argue. Um, and, you know, if you just read Shakespeare for enjoyment, for, you know, the enjoyment of the plot, or the love of the language, or the fascination or love for a character, um, then I think that anyone will find a way to, f to like Shakespeare. And, um, and... You know, I will also just say that in his, in his day, uh, Shakespeare was Shakespeare plays were um, flocked to in the same way that people flock to the theaters for superhero movies today, um, or at least they used to flock to theaters before COVID nineteen. Um, and honestly, I think that if you just approach Shakespeare the way that you approached a superhero movie or literally any other book that you re have ever read, any other novel piece of fiction that you've read. Um, then you'll find a way to enjoy him. And this event is meant to encourage people to just try to do that, to just try to approach Shakespeare like you would approach any any new writer. And keep in mind that this is a celebration of Shakespeare and not a study of Shakespeare. Um, so uh, anyway, now that I've made that, that gotten that point out of the way to try to encourage people to join in, um, I'll talk about the plays that I'm actually going to be uh, discussing. Um, so uh, every year for ShakeTube, uh, for the first three weeks of the month, first three weeks of September, each of the hosts uh, reads and makes videos on a different set of plays, one play per week, and in the last week we all come together and read the same play and discuss it. Um, so you'll want to make sure to go to the other host's announcement videos to see what plays they're going to be covering. Um, and uh, for the final play, not only are we all going to be reading the same play and all going to be discussing it, uh, the four of us, Steve, Jason, Rainey, and I, are actually going to be getting on Zoom and discussing it together and posting our discussion on all of our channels. So that's very exciting. And um, you can join in uh, with for as many or as few of the plays that are covered between the hosts as you want. And, uh, you know, you can comment on our videos. Uh, if you have a channel, we, of course, invite you to make videos if you so choose. Um, but yeah, really, it's just ca a casual event where if you're reading one play, then you're basically participating. Um, and so the three plays that I will be covering for myself, um, the first, and we post, um, we post our videos on the Saturday of each week. So on uh, Saturday, September 5th, I will be uh, posting a video about the Comedy of Errors, a kind of early comedy of Shakespeare's. Uh, for September 12th, September 12th, I will be reading and posting about uh, Antony and Cleopatra, one of his very late tragedies, which um, isn't as popular, but which I have a personal love for. Um, and then my last individual play will be uh, All's Well That Ends Well, 
uh, sort of underappreciated uh, problem play, it's often called. And um, yeah, look forward to talking about all three of those. And then, for the last week, uh, all four of us are going to be reading and discussing Hamlet, um, which uh, is probably Shakespeare's greatest play, although I'm not entirely certain that I would name it as my favorite, but I still love it dearly. Um, it is a fascinating bottomless pit, and uh, I think it'll be really interesting to see what we all decide to talk about. But um, but yeah, anyway, if you're, if you're going to join us for one play, I would say join us for Hamlet, because it's kind of a must-read, I think, for anyone. Um, so, yeah, that is Jake Dube. Um, you know, let me know what plays you're interested in reading, if any. Um, and please go watch the announcement videos of the other hosts, because they're all wonderful, but also you want to find out what plays they're going to be covering. Uh, and, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you all in September. I hope you're having a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.